What is that picking up? There's, oh, right there, there's a figure. Oh my gosh. There's a figure right there. That is going all the way to red. Instantly. Is that you? Did you hear that? Turn around, there's walking. That was walking. Are you walking over there? I straight up just saw someone walk up there. Take the energy from there? Are you over there? <gasps> yep. Oh my gosh. What is that? I don't know. Are you attached to this doll? Oh! Two figures. Right now. Yo, it's watching us right now. Seventy-five miles east of Halifax in a rural Great Village lies one of the biggest multi-dealer antique shops called the Great Village Antiques. Broken silence When you hear that whistle blow With over 30 different dealers and over a million antiques, we kind of thought that yes, this could be haunted. So we reached out to the owner and he gave us permission to investigate his store for a few hours. In tonight's episode, we are on the road to investigate some of the claims that actually go on there. Although there isn't any concrete proof of any spirit in the shop, there is in fact a twist. It has been said that antiques hold some of the most spiritual energy out of all things, but what if I were to compare over a million side by side? On many different occasions, certain customers actually ran down the stairs frightened, claiming that an unseen force has been following them in the upstairs back room, only for the owner to check it out for himself and find nobody. He said that the Lawton's family, which I'm pretty sure were the owners or the original owners, I'm not 100% sure, but at the time they actually had a living quarters upstairs, which could explain so much. Dating back to the 1800s, this was a general store up until the 1990s and then turned into an antique store and has been ever since. And I think it's safe to say that this spot probably has a lot of energy within its walls, and especially with over a million antiques side by side. This is probably the best opportunity for us to communicate with the afterlife, and I truly believe that some of these antiques are bound to have some energy on them. This is one of the most unique locations on this channel and tonight we have the permission to investigate here for a few hours to see what lurks after dark. If you guys want to support the channel, join as a member for exclusive posts, group chats and updates or visit our merch website down below in the description. Without further ado, let's get on with the Great Village Antiques episode. In this paper Alright, so we are rolling right now. Right now we are in the Great Village Antique Store here in Nova Scotia, Canada. And I'm not gonna lie, it's filled with thousands of antiques that are just sitting here. And I don't think a single person has ever investigated it. So we might actually be the first people to be doing this right now. In case you guys did not know, there has been so many times where customers were upstairs and something happened, something paranormal. And they would run down the stairs and literally tell the owner right here. I gotta say, there's no real concrete proof of anything even being here right now. But the owner said that so many people actually did it where he's actually kind of curious right now. So tonight we came through, we're going to see if anything happens. I got a camera rolling over there. I got one upstairs too. So we're going to try and communicate with any spirits here. Just start it off down here and, you know, let it shoot. See if anyone communicates with us and see if we can capture anything. So... Oh. Already? Already. Now we do have to keep in mind that there is power to this building. So if we are near like power sources, then. I don't know. Cause look, this is a lamp. It's not going off. Was somebody just standing here? It's so quiet. 
It's quiet, eh? Yeah. If there is anyone in this building, can you come forward to us? Hmm. I think they're gone. It literally left. Yeah. So whoever was here was standing here and visited for like five seconds and then dipped. Okay, well, we're gonna come find you wherever you went. What was that? I was literally just walking, there was like a footstep over there. Was somebody walking? Can you make another noise if you're here? Oh my gosh. What? It's going off. What is that noise? I don't know. I think it's time that I introduce myself. My name is Lamar. And my name is Chelsea. And we came to communicate with anybody here. The owner told us that customers have experienced stuff in here, especially upstairs. You're gonna oh, get your K too. My gosh! What? Oh my gosh, I just got the chills right now. That is going all the way to red. Instantly. Is that you? Can you make it stop? The camera getting that? I, I, I can't really tell. It's, you can see it moving, but it's so hard to tell in night vision. That was awesome. Thank you. Now we aren't here to hurt anybody or to disturb anybody. We just came to communicate because we feel like you guys need to be talked to. We've been in here even a couple times. More than a couple times. Do you recognize us? So the owner was also saying that this building is like over 100 years old. It's like 1880s or something. Man. Yeah, and that back in the day, there actually was like a living quarters upstairs, which I think is actually the upstairs back room. Yeah, where and that's some where of the would, like that's where the customers would experience stuff. Exactly, yeah. Right? So remember? the family who did own this are the Lawtons, the Lawtons. So if we hear anything come through the spirit box of the last name Lawton, um, it is connected to this spot. I swear to God, I'm hearing footsteps. Here, let's... Like upstairs. That's our footsteps, right? Yeah, yeah, that's our footsteps. Okay. I'm going to pull out a device. It's going to help us talk to you. So you can say whatever you want to say, and our device will pick up your message. Look, look at that. It's really hard to pick up on that. Oh, there it is, you can see it now. That is maxing out right now. And it's gone. Oh. Oh. I think it's something to do in here? I think one of these has uh, some sort of energy on it. Attached to it? Yeah, because it really seems to like... So you can see the lights in there. It's but... this one. Whatever is this right here. It's just Something's a bunch of like teacups and stuff. Is there somebody attached to these teacups? Oh. Yeah, look. It's really hard to see. There, you can see it. Yeah, it's something to do with this. Or it could also be the unit that it's in as well, right? True. Oh, wow. Look yeah. at that. Oh my gosh. It's Whoa. maxing right now. There's honestly so many different types of antiques here. Like if, is did I just say hi? Did you say hi? I heard walking. Are you upstairs? I 
I just felt electricity behind me. Really? Yeah. Can you tell us your name? Off. Off? Is that what that said? Or Off. old? Is there a message that you want to tell us? Donald or a tunnel? You. You. F you. Is that what that said? I heard F you. Oh, that's not nice. We want to talk to somebody. Preferably the one who has been scaring customers. Fire. Fire. What have you been doing to scare customers? What did I say? I don't know. Did you used to live here? I, I can't, like, I find it hard to read these answers. Can you tell us where you are, please? Did you hear that? Turn around, there's walking. That was walking. Can you tell us where you are, please? Did you hear that? Can you tell us where you are, please? Did you hear that? Are you walking over there? What about making that rocking chair move? Speak to us. Look, look, look. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's you and me. So it said? I think it said it's you and me. Can we know your name? We told you our name. I. Th it's standing right here. Do you see that? Yeah. It's really hard to pick up on the night vision. But it is going to like orange and red. You can slightly see it. It's from right here. You're from here? Are you in the other room? It's like wherever we oh. there's music. It's like right now. It almost seems like in the distance there's something moving or you hear like a tap. Yeah, I think whoever you know is I mean? here is still a little shy. Are you watching us from the distance? All right, so I think we're gonna try and use this. This is a temperature gauge. So upstairs it's reading at 15 degrees, 16. So we'll come back down and see if it changes. Okay. But, um... Oh, shit. It's going down. Is it? It went to 14 from 16. It's not that big of a drop, though. I heard that tap. Somebody over there? Tell me you heard that. I did. We're going to give you a moment of silence. If you can make some sort of decently loud noise that way we can know where you are okay we're going to give you that moment now there's very little mm -hmm. ticking I mean, that could also be one of the many clocks in here. Yeah. And like, just so you guys know, like this is an active antique, antique store. store. Like it's open, yeah. open for business. It's honestly one of our favorite antique stores in all of Nova Scotia. What did that just say? I don't know. Did that you, was... did you even turn that on? Yeah, I did. Okay. Are you upstairs? It almost sounded like it came from this room. I know the back room here. The back room. Okay, let's go check it out. Trio. 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 Are you with us to make a trio? Trio. Okay. 
We're going to come this way. I want you to try and produce as much energy as you can so we can get some answers. So we can let the owner of the store know who's here and if you're nice. They changed it in here. Yeah. The third seat. The third seat. The third seat. The third seat. Are you in here? Can you make a noise? Yeah. Or tell us what you're attached to? What kind of antique are you attached to? Are you attached to... What? Can you repeat that? You know what the weird thing is? There has got to be something attached to something in here. I know. Like there are thousands of antiques literally sitting here right now. And you would think too, like... There has to at least be a handful, right? Yeah. Out of out of this many antiques. But like you thousands of antiques. It's honestly really, really colder here. Yeah. Really colder here. But um and you would think that those energies would kind of feed off of each other, mm -hmm. you know? And create yeah. a stronger energy. Like just look at the amount of stuff, you know? I'm safer. Something I'm safer? Or lifesaver uh -huh. or something. That was Is weird because if it was if it if it did say lifesaver, there's a a lifesaver right, right there. there. Are you attached to the little lifesaver dinghy? The tube? Is there a fisherman here? <laughs> Can you come and stand here? I literally just felt someone just walk. You know that feeling of being like someone just walking beside you? You just feel someone? What was that? What the f was that? That was like a giggle and then all you heard was like movement. Yeah. Like someone just walked into this room. That's someone right there. That came from out there. Holy shit. That was movement. That was. Thank you for showing yourselves to us. I think that came from upstairs. That literally came from upstairs. Okay, I say we do one last loop around this spot and then let's go upstairs. Who was that? Thank you so much. Natalie Baby. Natalie Baby. Natalie Baby. Is your name Natalie? And are you attached to a baby doll? There's a doll. Maybe right this here. one? Are you attached to this pretty little doll? Bring out the K2 meter. Yep. Is that Natalie baby though? I don't know. It doesn't say. If you listen. If you listen, it said. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's going. going off. Oh my god. Are you attached to this doll? Oh! <gasps> now. Oh my gosh. We Let me see if I can just leave that there. Holy shit. Natalie, is this your doll? It's gone now. I don't know. What if I touch you, Natalie? No. Oh, oh. Do you like when I hold your hand? Yeah? Oh my gosh. She, she likes when oh I hold her gosh. hand. Okay, I'll let go. Do you want me to hold your hand again? Can you make it go to red? Okay, I'll hold your hand. The right. The right. Oh my gosh. It's the right hand. And I'm touching the right hand. Wow, Natalie, thank you so much for coming through. Do you want me to just stay and hold your hand? Do you want to talk? What's up? Oh my gosh, wow. look at that. Okay, so 
I think we may need to buy this doll and bring Natalie home with us at some point. Can you make that go off? If you make it go off, you can come home with us. Oh! Okay, so she's 16 degrees right now. I'm gonna hold your hand. Can you make it go off? If you do, we'll take you home. All the way to red. Okay, it was at 15 before I said, right? Yeah. Went to 18 for a little bit. Okay, so my temperature on me is 27. Okay. Her temperature is 16. No way. Yeah. Where'd you go? Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh. Can you make it go all the way? The temperature just dropped to 14. No way. It was 20. Can you make it go off all the way? Whoa. What was that? Who's there? Whoa. Oh my god, it's going off. Can you make that go off all the way? We'll take you home. Oh my gosh. 14. I'm hearing walking from upstairs. Literally. Should we go check it out then? Oh! What the fuck was that? Okay, let's go and check this out for a sec. Do you feel that too though? It's so cold in here right now in this one specific room. I mean, I don't know if like, obviously the heat's not on right now. I don't know if it could be that, but. What was that? I think that was outside. Okay. Okay, let's make our way upstairs. All right. So. So I think we might actually take Natalie home. Well, we'll go in the daytime and pick yeah, her we'll up. Yeah, we'll have to come back in the day and pick her up. We can put her on hold though, come back tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs now. Sorry, my hip hurts. Your hip? Yeah. Okay, we're coming upstairs. Do you have a light so I can just see where I'm going up there? Oh, it's chilly. Oh. I don't know about you, but like this doll, I just, I feel something on. Is there anything attached to this doll right here? No, I think it just looks creepy, that's about it. I mean, the spirits could be on and off, right? Yeah. I know a lot of times- Whoa! What? Shadow! Seriously? I swear! You saw a shadow up here too, when we were doing our- Yeah, when we were photos. setting up. I literally just saw a shadow there, I'm not even joking. Is there somebody over there? Why is that light on? Who was walking up here? We turned all the lights off. Did we leave that one on? I don't remember turning that on. 
if anyone is here upstairs, I want you to walk towards me to make the lights go off on this device. If you've never seen one of these devices, it just pretty much picks up you and your energy and it will show us by making it go to a different color. Just a way of communicating with you. I'm just going to walk around, go to different items, see if we can find where you are. Okay, so we have a motion light, which will go off if somebody walks in front of it. We're going to set it up in the back room here, where you guys used to live, if you guys are even here. This is where a lot of people claim to see you, or experience you. We're going to set it up now, so if you can come out, give us an answer. Footsteps mm -hmm. from right in there. Okay, that was me. But right when I was walking up there, did you hear that? I did, yeah. Literally coming from that room. And I, that's the back room, right? I would assume so. I'd assume, yeah. And that's where they used to Unless live. it's the other, like that side. Yeah. But we'll check out both back rooms. Are you over there? Yo, look at this creepy ass doll right now. Oh, she's pretty. That's creepy. Okay, we're gonna set it up right here, okay? What was that? I don't know. Did you move at all? No, but that was like the vent. Yeah, it'll go off. Nice. All right, so we got a motion detector there. Let's uh, see if we can get somebody to, what? I just thought I saw something, but it could have just been like that light reflecting it. True. If you're here with us, can you make that light go off in front of us? All you would have to do is just step right in front of it. You don't have to be shy. It was Natalie, right? That other name that came through? Yeah, that was Natalie. Natalie, are you in here? Are you with us still? Or are you stuck downstairs in the doll? <laughs> Natalie, are you here with us still? Were you moving stuff up here? Did you hear that? No. Like very faint creaking on the floor. Where'd you guys go? Why'd you stop talking to us? We were getting some pretty like accurate answers. We put a device on the floor. It says night. 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 Yeah, it's night time. Are you going to bed? What? I heard like scratching. It could just be like an animal or something. That device on the floor will pick you up if you go in front Run. of it. Run. Are you running? Run. Are you talking about how the customers would run down the stairs? What was that? I don't know. 
I honestly don't Is that know. downstairs? That sounded like it came right from downstairs, yeah. I don't know what that could have been though. That wasn't like walking. No. It was movement of something. Was that you? Okay, we're gonna go to a different room now. I'm not sensing anything in here right now. You're not picking up anything? Not in this room. It's really quiet. Where'd you go? Are you hiding on us? I think we should go into Claire's classic section. All right. Is this the back room? Whoa. Oh. Was this the back room that you've been seen Fire. in? So we're just gonna kind of sit in here. Why don't you come into the room with us? Or even stand in the doorway. Can you stand in the doorway? My ears are ringing. Really? Mm -hmm. Very slightly. The energy, sorry. The energy in this. Cheryl. Cheryl? Is your name Cheryl? It's nice to meet you, Cheryl. I'm Chelsea. But the energy in this section, I don't know if you feel it, but it is. Like, Monster. It is more like pronounced here. Yeah, Monster. I definitely feel more. Can you go and stand in front of this device we put down? <gasps> Basement. Oh my gosh. That's twice. And then it's the basement. <gasps> jacket. Jacket. Basement jacket. Is that you knocking? We can't go in the basement. I just saw someone. What? I just saw someone. You saw somebody? Yeah. I just saw a shadow just go right by the second doorway. That's exactly what I saw too. Can you tell me if you're a male or female? If you're a male, can you walk sister. in? Sister. Is your name Elizabeth? My eyes are watering. Day. Intensely. Really? Yeah. All right, so our flashlight is 100% full right now. So let's see if they can use light play and possibly communicate. Or even if you want to take the energy from our flashlight and use it, you can. Do you hear that? Yeah. Can you move the flashlight or turn it off? Oh. What? The lights kind of was flickering on that, just like very, very slightly. Kind of like an energy source was draining it a little bit. Can you do that again with the flashlight? Just make it dim? It's like, it sounds like it's in here, but it also sounds- Abused. <gasps> Abused? Abused. We know people used to live in here. Were you abused? Were your parents abusive? Do you, like, 
I keep seeing like I don't I don't know how to explain what I'm seeing. Disrespectful. Watching you. You're watching us. What where are you? I keep seeing like so the flashlight's pointing that shovel scratch. Shovel scratch. Are you is there a shovel in here? I, I haven't know. seen a shovel. Um but the f <gasps> Okay. Did it just take that? It just took like all the energy out of that. It's hardly on right now. Did you just take the energy from there? <gasps> yep. Oh my gosh. It just took our flashlight's energy. Okay, now can you give us another sign that you're here now that you have a bit more energy? That was that full was, battery. Yeah, that was really cool though, honestly. Can you put it back onto the flashlight? Disrespectful. What? How are we being disrespectful? Or who is being disrespectful? Can you tell us where you want us to go? Female. What if it's talking about you? No, there's a female spirit here. I picked up like, um, I don't know if you remember me randomly asking if their name was Elizabeth. I picked up a female in like a very old Victorian style dress. And I, I got the name Elizabeth. Oh, really? Yeah, so I don't know, like this town, like Great Village is very historic and everything. So I don't know if maybe it was just a spirit kind of like passing through that just like sent out a random message to me. But I, <laughs> but I picked up on the name Elizabeth and a female. Is there an Elizabeth here? What if you were to turn that flashlight back on? Or the motion light, if that's a little bit easier. All you gotta do is walk in front of it. God, it's so cold. Yeah, okay. it's cold, eh? No, like, it's actually, like, I feel like it's, like, winter. I don't know if you can see my goosebumps, but... Like, honestly, oh, yeah. it's so cold. Are you not that cold? I'm not that cold, but it is cold. Oh, that's outside. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. That. Right there. Yeah. Thank you. Are you in the room over there? That's where both me and you saw that figure. Mm-hmm. Are you the person walking over there? So that's a car. Let's see if you can play that over. I swear to God. What? Do you know how there's a light on in that back room? Yeah, yeah. It almost seemed like it dimmed out for a bit. Really? Yeah. I'm like looking at it hit the wall, but it almost looked like, like it you kinda... know when someone walked in the light and it Yeah, dimmed? yeah. So that's Let's what see. I was experiencing with the flashlight. You would see like little shadows. Yeah. Kind of like appear in random spots. All right. Let's see if we can get something. Okay, so we heard you. Are you over there in the back room? Is there any message that you want to send out to the world? Are 
Are you stuck here? Okay, let's listen back to that. I feel like the spirit or spirits who are here just don't want to be like... Like talk to maybe? Like I, I just feel like they're having a harder time coming through our type of devices. Well, they took the energy from the flashlight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, whoa. What? I all of a sudden just have goosebumps. I know, and I'm perfectly it's warm. Now. Literally, instantly, right now. Are you standing here? Or are you sitting with us? See if I pick up anything on the SOS. Okay. I'm very curious. Can you go and stand in the hallway, please? We've seen you walk past. Oh. Oh, oh what the hell was that? Did you get that? Oh. It's picking up something. So whenever that machine does make that beeping noise, it has picked up an apparition of something. Oh. Can I swear to God, I think someone was standing right there. Are you standing right there? Thank you. Can you come out again? That was from behind us. Let's move out into this room right here. Let's see if we get any SOS activity. Oh, oh my gosh. Where is it picking it up from? The baby. It could just be picking up its thing. But the thing that we got last time... Okay, that's a bigger figure. But that could just... There's be a bigger picking, figure. That could just be picking up the, the face and stuff of that baby. But the figure that was not on the baby, get this, was right here. Yeah. It wasn't even on the baby. It was literally standing by the suitcase. that tap again I don't know if that's the baby but we're gonna come this way now Where's that picking up? up? Someone was just right there, right in front of us. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Do you see that? It's gone now. It, oh, oh. Oh, my gosh. And there's nothing there <gasps> that looks human like that it would pick up on. You know no. what I mean? Someone's standing over there. Yeah, you can see. See if you get that better. Yeah. Right over there. Are you standing there? Can you tell us your name? Do you hear that walking? 
Yeah. Look, I heard like a... Yeah. No, I definitely heard that. Where is this coming from? Okay, this thing is picking up all sorts of entities. I know. Someone's in here with us. Someone is in here. You always freak me out so much when you do oh, that. Shit. Somebody in there? I don't know about you, but I think I just felt someone to the left. Like it felt like someone was standing right next to me. Where do you oh, want us to go? Right here. Look, look, look. Oh yeah. See that? What is that picking up? There's, oh, right there, there's a figure. Oh my gosh. There's a figure. Right there. Wait, Thank hold on. you. See if you can get that better. Yeah, yeah, I got it right there. There's a figure. Yeah. Look at that. You can see it. It's popping in and out. See if you can get that better. Yeah, yeah. I got it right there. There's a figure. Yeah. See if you can get that better. Yeah, yeah. I got it right there. See if you can get that better. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was tall. Like, that was it a was, real figure. Yeah. Look it. It's still trying to pick it up. Are you still? Oh, right there. Right there. Look. Yeah, you can. There's a male, I think. You think it's a male? I don't know. But that's a full on, like, maybe it's a child. It's, yeah, it's looking like. Because look, it's in and out, but when it's there, it's like a. Like, you can see it's mapping out the arms and the legs. You know what I'm saying? So it's right where the wicker basket is. Yeah. It's a decently sized figure too. It's gone now. There it is. Look at though, like it's it's literally mopping out. And it's like moving. Somebody right now. All right, let's bring out the spirit box and let's see if we can try to communicate with the spirit that's literally standing right in front of us right now. Can you tell me who's standing in front of us? Are you the person that people feel? My eye lights going out now. Starting to take your batteries. It is. It's flickering. My gosh. Two of them are. Two? You're kidding me Kelly. right now. Kelly. What does that say? Is her name Kelly? As if my IR lights are going yeah, out right now. Yeah, two of them. The top two. Are you draining all of our lights? Sad. You're sad? What's going on, Kelly? Why are you sad? Kelly, were you just standing right in front of us? Honestly, I feel like whoever is in here just like doesn't want to be on camera. You know, no, there's but some... it was standing right there. Yeah. There's. Whoa! Holy shit! Something was just touched. Did you hear that? Tell me you heard that. That was like someone like sliding something on here. What moved? And the spirit box went super quiet for like the last couple minutes. Help. Help, how can we help you? You have to communicate with us so that we can help you. Yo, it's watching us right now. Sister. Sister again. How can we help you? Oh my gosh. It's like creepy. Peter, bloody. Bloody. What was the first word it said? Peter? Peter or something. 
Peter Bloody. Was there an accident? Did an accident happen here with someone named Peter? Wait, listen. Sister. Sister again. Sister. Whoa. I don't I don't know what to do with that information. Like Hug. Hug. Do you wanna hug your sister? Hug sister sister. Is your sister's name Kelly? So we got sister a couple times, sad, hug, bloody Peter. Bless. 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 Tell us where you are. Speak. Be careful. Be careful of what? Are we sister. I keep saying sister. Like, what is that? Are you a female? Did our device pick you up? But that's come through. Psychic. Bloody. Psychic. What if they know you can tune in better? Well, they, they know I can. Sister. They know I can because I've gotten like, like a message from Elizabeth. Like, you know what I mean? So whoever is here knows that I can sense them and I can, like I'm a medium, but sensitive, but. Sister. You've said sister a couple times. I, I don't know what to do with that. Do you have a message for your sister? No. Let's find us. That almost sounded like it came from over there. See, and it sounded like to me it came from over there. We're gonna come over now. It's like someone's using this back room right now. I know. Asylum. Asylum. Are you attached to anything in this room? Is there any scratch? Scratch. Is there anything in here that that is yours? Came from your home? Belongs to you? Is it filming right now? Yeah, it's filming. There's something right here. There is also just an orb. No way. Yeah, there's just a small orb. Are you orb. dead serious? I'm dead serious. It set... It almost felt like... Like a breeze hitting my hand. Is there a window or anything near us? No. Like, there's literally no breeze, no nothing. There's windows there. But this is... This isn't... This wasn't like a breeze. This was like a... Like a... Like, yeah, it was a breeze, but like... Almost like it just only touched my hand to like touch it. Yeah. There's, I don't know what it is, but this area right here, there's someone hanging out in here. Definitely. They're probably stuck oh in a- Oh my gosh. What? Bring the camera right here. I just saw someone straight up walk in there. Walk into where? The back room. Like I, I straight up just saw someone walk up in there. Like shadow or like an actual? No, just like a person. Seriously? Like just like a black shadow, yeah. But it was like someone just walked and was using that. Who's there? That room too. I literally just, two figures. Right now, two figures. That's just me. What? I don't want to say that this place is really haunted, but like legitimately, I just saw two figures. One in that room and one in that room. Honestly, I, I think it's just, Spirits are 
like in a residual type thing where they're stuck in like um you think a it's pattern res residual here i think so because they haven't been super responsive to some of our things no you know like they haven't been answering our light play or anything like that so that kind of makes it, it once with the flashlight but not the motion but that, that wasn't a light play you know that was just draining the energy from it so what if it was trying to take that so it has more energy to kind of show itself it definitely like that that could explain it spirit There's whoosh this. Was that you walking? That's downstairs now. Mm-hmm. Let's go downstairs. I think that picked up me. I think that did. I swear to God, I just heard a cry. I just heard a baby. Remember, we heard that earlier too when we were near Natalie. Natalie, can you make a noise for us? Is that you? No. Did you go like? No, I didn't say sorry, anything. In my left ear. It just got really freaking cold, like really, yeah. really cold. See if my flashlight works. No, it's completely dead. Completely dead. Whoa, it completely drained I it. I charged everything. Everything that we have right now. I thought I heard something. But I think it was just so oh, that's coming from up there. That's like a little huff. That was something being moved. Are you upstairs now? I'm telling you, I think it's residual and I think it's just stuck in a pattern up there. You know, because we didn't get a lot of that. Okay, that's a car. I swear to God, there's like shuffling or sliding or... We're running out of time now. We do want to think. That was an Evie. I swear to God, the camera picked that up. That was a full on like voice, like a gasp, a woman's gasp. Are you a woman? We do want to think. We do want to think. We do want to think. Are you a woman? I'm telling you that there's a woman here. I'm telling you. Did you know, I hear that. It was like, yeah. Or like, duh. Like it was just a gasp, but I was like, it was a female. Yeah. Okay. What time is it? 10, 12. Okay. All right. We're officially out of time. If there's anything you want to say, it would be your time now because we're about to leave. I don't know. I think they're... This is weird. Maybe we could return back here in the future too. Yeah. Maybe like officially wrap this up give it a little bit more closure now we know that someone is actually here or there are people hanging out thing is is it residual is it intelligent that's the question and i don't think it's negative no i, think it's I don't just think it's negative at all the people who own these antiques back in its day probably are hanging out or have at least some sort of attachment to it mm -hmm. that's what we know right now as far as that goes, they're not giving us much. The clock get louder. It sounds like it did, but I think there's one like on the other side of the wall. All right, well, what do you think? I think it's time to wrap it. Time out here? Yeah. Okay, we're leaving now. 
Thank you for all of the communication that you did give us tonight. We appreciate it so much. Hopefully you can come out, you know, and uh, do something for the owner. He says a lot of customers come here and experience you. Maybe you can do something for him. Sorry if you're watching this right <laughs> now, but uh, we do know for a fact there is something here. But it's just a matter of who, you know? So, all right, guys. So, we're going to wrap this up right here. You guys know what just happened. I think we might or we could in the future come back and do a round two in here, but. I literally forgot all my SD cards were with one battery. We tried to make the best out of it, but like I said, we might return back here and give it some more closure. See if we can get anything else. Big shouts out to the owner here. This guy's amazing. He let us actually use this antique shop and see if there's anything here. This is like one of those moments where you never thought, like we've been in here so many times, right? Yeah. And you never would have thought, like I never would have thought I would be in here right now investigating it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And somehow I feel like there's so many antiques in here that it might even be hard for the spirits to be, you know, clear and transparent with their messages, right? Like yeah. there's like probably well over a million, I'd say. Antiques? antiques in yeah, here. this place has a lot. Honestly, too, if you guys are ever in the Great Village area in Nova Scotia, I 10 out of 10 recommend that you come here. You cannot miss this antique store. Big shout out again to the owner. We appreciate this so much. Like, we've come here a good handful of times and we've left with stuff every single time. So, again, big shout out to the owner for allowing us to come in your antique store and to film everything and to catch some pretty good evidence. If you do want us to come back for part two, just let us know down in the comments and we can make it work for you. Thank you again, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.